All right, take a look at this guy. This is Randy Williams. He's an Air Force veteran and he's been all over the world serving his country. But when he tried to visit his son, who's also serving in Japan, he couldn't get a passport. Why? Well, it's quite the story and two wants to know's Kevin Kennedy breaks it down for us. Randy Williams is a hero, not only for what he did. And I was a avionics technician on C-130s. We were mobile, we went all over the world. But for what he was willing to give, his life. My first steps on Okinawa were running for my life. Five years in the Air Force, Randy traveled the globe. Thailand, Germany, Italy, Turkey, the Philippines. Honorably discharged in 1978, Randy has remained stateside ever since, until last month when he decided to visit his son. He's been asking me, almost begging me, to come visit him. Just like Dad, Locke is serving in the Air Force stationed in Okinawa, Japan. Well, the plan was to uh, go see him, visit him for uh, Thanksgiving. Randy booked his flight and hotel only to learn he couldn't leave the country. It was never a problem with the Air Force. It was never a problem in getting me a, a top secret security clearance. To better understand this issue, you need to go back to 1953. Randy was born at the Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana. My problem was that uh, I, I had no birth certificate at my birth. His certificate wasn't generated until he was eight, and while it was never a problem for 65 years, it was when trying to get a passport. I said, how can this be? I, I'm, I'm a veteran. Uh, I've served my country. Randy reached out to the State Department and his congressman, but Thanksgiving came and passed, his trip canceled. I was determined to see my son. I haven't seen him in three years. The new plan was to visit for Christmas, but again, almost every document the Passport Center wanted, he didn't have, though no fault of his own. It looked again like he was staying home for the holiday. I had many low times when I, when I was ready to give up. That's when he reached out to News 2. While we called the State Department, Randy submitted additional documents. And guess what? A temporary passport was approved. That was... Uh... <laughs> yippee ki -yay. it was, uh... <laughs> that passport arriving yesterday. The best Christmas present I've ever had. Randy's flight to Japan left this morning. I was absolutely on cloud nine. Before leaving, he sent us this from the airport. I haven't felt this excited about Christmas since I was a little kid. Merry Christmas, Sergeant Williams, and the happiest of New Year's. Kevin Kennedy, Two Wants to Know.